I, um... I'll be reviewing the fifth wave. <laughs> so, yeah, the movie starts with this uh, high schooler. She's a foxy white girl. Um, and then everything was normal until the fucking aliens came. Yeah, um, was not, was not, like, just, like, a full-scale invasion. It didn't quite work like that. Uh, the first wave, first wave was just a fucking EMP. A EMP just knocked out everything, and we couldn't make any more power. Uh, uh, that part, that part kind of bothered me a little bit. I wasn't. I, I saw a little faultiness in that. I'm like, what about static electricity? You, you telling me we can't get no gerbils on a hamster wheel and a fucking light bulb and then get some light around this bit? Is that what you're telling me? Like, what? Like, that part kind of made me a little iffy. And, um, yeah. So it started out with this giant UFO. It was a fortress. It wasn't like like the UFO you probably got in mind. It was just like a pointy, pointy, jagged for fortress that just was circling the earth the entire movie, apparently. And um Yeah, so now everybody's living Amish and shit. It's cool in it. <clears throat> and then the second wave was a die dang earthquake. So then it was um it was a protagonist white girl. She was with a little brother that was trying to collect some river water and then they just started darting and shit. They just climbed up a tree cuz after the uh earthquake, a tsunami had came through. Ah, uh, shit. What was the third wave? Oh yeah. So the third wave was um third wave was bird flu. The aliens improved bird flu and just made it just kill off some people. It killed off a good amount of people. I thought that part was funny. I was like, come on, they could have they could have did better than bird flu. They could have found something better. And um the little girl mom was a nurse. Uh she died from the shit. It was uh, when you had it. When you had it and you was dying, like, their eyes were just, like, super red. Like, stop sign red, not stoner red. <laughs> like, you popped a blood vessel. <laughs> yeah, then they had a funeral for her. <laughs> and then, um, the fourth wave. Fourth wave, um, it cuts to, it cuts to a scene where, um, all the, uh, people have gathered. Not all of them. But just, like, where the city have gathered, you know, they set up a little camp. You know, they start singing their campfire songs. C-A-M-P. All right, that's not SpongeBob. But, um, yeah. They start um singing their campfire song songs. And then the U.S. military comes through. And then they're like, hey, we've come to relieve you. Not all of you, just, just, your, just your children. Just your children. You guys can go suck it. <laughs> and, uh, let's see what else. Oh uh, yeah, so yeah, so they gathered all the children onto the bus, take them away, then all the adults, all the adults were um, were into this building for a briefing, and then they uh, then the aliens started playing tricks. The aliens uh, the aliens look like humans, they uh, they can take the shape of human form, and it was the military, cause the military just happened to be the only. To be the only people with electricity, which is kind of iffy from the beginning. I knew, I knew it was some, some fishy going on. Um. Hmm. Oh yeah. So like, uh, the girl protagonist, uh, her little brother was on the bus. She got off to try and get a teddy bear. Big surprise, she doesn't make it back on the bus. And then, um, after the military guys briefed uh adults that uh that the aliens looked just like them when them pulled out a gun and it was just a mass shootout they all were gathered in a barn 
It was a mass shootout. Everybody just got wet up. Everybody got wet up. It was only like five military guys that had left, that left out. And, of course, uh, the girl protagonist walks in, sees her dead dad. Uh, so now the little girl, she's heartbroken. She drops the teddy bear, grabs one of the soldiers' gun, picks back up the teddy bear, <laughs> and then she heads out. She's out on her own. She makes it to like a uh, she makes it to a grocery store, gets her beef jerky, gets her vitamins, tampons. <laughs> I'm not I'm not kidding. That was one of the things she grabbed. And then she uh, she walked. She heard somebody screaming. She was like she heard somebody screaming, help, help. So then she walked in to peep out the scene, man. He got her a pistol point, and then she got him an assault rifle point. And she's like, drop your weapon. He's like, okay, okay. And he drops it, and then she's like, yo, put your hand down. He's like, I can't. My tummy's going to fall out. I got bad diarrhea. And then she's like, hey, hey, nigga, I said move that hand. So then she shakes the gun. You know how people get real dramatic. Start shaking that gun and shit. And then, like, she saw a sparkle when he moved his hand. And then she just wet him up and ended his life. And then it later revealed it was not a gun. It was not a weapon. He had a what would Jesus do rosary on. It was just a regular cross, but still. <laughs> um, okay. So this bitch is shocked, of course. She just killed the first person. So she starts walking on the street. She's determined to find her little brother. So she's going through the woods and shit, dirtying up her pretty face. Um, and then she gets to the highway. Uh, she starts walking. She sees somebody laid out on the street, and their cigarette is their cigarette is still lit. They're dead, but the cigarette's still lit. And then, bam! She gets shot in the leg. She tumbled down. And then, and then this bitch roll under a car. She's like, Ah, ah, why? Why? I don't have a tampon on this size. Why? Um. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she rolls out with a pistol. She starts limping around. She just starts blindly shooting. Blindly shooting. Didn't look, didn't look for the shooter while she was, while she was under the car. She didn't even peep. She just rolled out, just started, just fucking shooting all over the place and shit. And then this bitch just fucking fell and passed out. She wake up. She wake up to one of the aliens. He looks human, of course. She wakes up to one of the aliens. He tried to patch her up. Um, he went through her diary and shit like that. He probably was tickling her booty hole in her sleep. She was passed out for a week. Um. So yeah, she was just like, "Yo, where my forty-five at, man? My dad gave it to me. I need it." He was like, "I didn't see any forty-five. He was lying like a big dog. The next day, she um, that nigga was out there chopping wood and shit for some odd reason. And um, she stepped on the floorboard, found the pistol. He walked in, and then that bitch was just gunning it. Nah, she wasn't gunning it. She fucking dipped. She dipped that nigga. I ain't even know it. So then he just started chasing her. And he just tackled her down. Tackled her down. He was like, don't shoot. Don't shoot and shit. He had her mouth covered. Because it was uh, this dude with a sniper rifle. He was in other. He was hunting them. He was hunting them like chickens. Oh, man. I need to speed this up. Okay, so um, such and such, they team up. Um, they they uh avoid the guy with the sniper. Um, let's see. Um, they start walking for a bit. He was like, "Yo, I got to." Um, such and such, blah blah blah. Um, they find a car. Um, they hang out for it. They just stop right there. They open the car door up, and then they just start bumping and grinding. He knocking them human ankles loose. <laughs> Knocking them ankles loose for a bit. And then um, they wake up next morning. It's some others around. And then that's when she finds out he is an other. Because he starts doing superhero shit. 
He pulled off cool kick slide moves on the car hood and shit. He was tossing niggas on trees. Fucking superhuman Hulk type shit. He was fast too. He was hella fast. So then, you know, she get, she grabbed the pistol after he whooped their ass, of course. And then she like, hey, get down on your knees. And eat my pussy one more time before I say goodbye. I'm about to shoot you. I'm just kidding. She didn't say that. She said, get down. If you try and follow me, I'm going to shoot you in the nose. And you ain't going to like it. Of course, he don't listen. Okay, um, it cuts to her little brother, um, where they was um, doing training and shit like that. Blah, 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 irrelevant shit, irrelevant shit. Her brother isn't built for war, because he's a little nigga. He's in single digits. Okay, um, team leader, um, when they go on their first official mission after training, he tied a little nigga up in the bathroom because a little nigga was bitching the night before. I'm talking about, I don't want to shoot nobody. So then, you know, he just tied that bitch up. Then they go on the mission, which is actually a fucking setup. Big surprise. Um, the aliens had chipped them to think that other humans uh, had the aliens in them. They gave them these special helmets. So then, like, the rebel, it was this rebel goth white bitch. She looked like she was on heroin, but she had kick. Apparently, everybody was checking her out when she had first joined their squad, man. She was like, they were like, hey. And then she, this bitch got like spidey senses or something. She was like, hey, look at my ass again. I beat your ass. <laughs> so, yeah, man. I'd hit it. Hit that shit all day. Even though she looked like a heroin addict. But that's besides the point, man. She was a goth girl. She had black hair. I was, I was feeling her a little bit. I was feeling her more than the uh, main protagonist. Main protagonist was kind of kind of bitchy. It was kind of bitchy, man. She she could still get it, but I like Goth Girl better. I like the Goth Girl. She was kicking the ass. So yeah, Goth Girl was the first one to figure out that um that the aliens had played them with the little chip in their neck. So then she cut hers out. And then everybody, you know, everybody in the squad, they was like, whoa, you're an alien. And then she was like, hey, hey, chill out, chill out. And then the squad captain, he was like, wait, 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 wait. She might be on to something. She might be on to something. So then he cut his shit out of his neck, too. And they were like, oh, you're an alien now. And then he put two and two together. Um, he had them run off with the goth girl because she running shit. And then um, he returned home. He had, he had got shot purposefully. Uh, the goth girl in a spot that wouldn't kill him and then the aliens figured it out once he returned to base okay okay such and such such and such um the white, white protagonist and found her way to the military base she met she meet up with the um team captain they all cool and shit you know they just knock them motherfuckers in in the mouth and shit so then you know she rescues her little brother She's like, hey, hey, how are you doing? And then they meet up with the alien that had knocked her ankles loose. And um, he gives her a kiss. And, uh, yeah, he's like, look here, look here. Because, like, he was the only reason they was even able to get that far. Uh, he was bombing shit when they got there. That's how the, uh, that's how the team leader had got as far as he did. Uh, shit, what else? Hmm. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, they said their last goodbyes. Um, yeah, they said their last goodbyes. And then, like, after that, that's when they rescued her brother. My bad. So, yeah, they got a little brother now. Pulled him out of line. They running and running and shit. And then, it's, uh, you know, the final bomb setting off and shit. And then they about to fucking die. But then Goth Girl pull up with the squad. Goth Girl pull up with the squad and shit. She like, yo, hop in this Jeep Tom Ford, Henry Ford. And then they just pull off. And then they sing campfire song songs again with beans and eggs and shit. And then it's a cliffhanger. Uh, I hope there's a part two. That'd be pretty cool. Actually, I enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed this movie more than 13 hours. 13 hours kind of 
Uh, it kind of sucks. Well, it didn't really suck. It's just I don't know. I prefer the I prefer the fifth wave better. It had it had better moments to it. Whew. 